Good morning friends. This is Murali Krishna, Department of Chemistry, DBS Engineering College, Kauri. Today I am going to discuss about another important spectroscopy. Nothing but uh, NMR spectroscopy. NMR spectroscopy is nothing but uh, nuclear magnetic resonance. Now I can explain the, the main principle of uh, NMR spectroscopy. NMR spectroscopy is a powerful tool to investigation to analyzing the structure of atoms and molecules. In this NMR spectroscopy, the radian frequency waves induce between magnetic energy levels of nucleus of the molecule. Finally, it forms a spectrum. Now, you can discuss about hydrogen molecule. Hydrogen has a proton. It has a own spin. That spin is always rotating its own axis. When we are place the hydrogen or when we are place the proton in a strong, a strong magnetic field, it should be divided into two energy levels. That two energy levels separated by the applying of magnetic system. But the energy of two energy levels are equal where in the absence of external magnetic field. That two energy levels are mentioned here. One is upper, one is lower. Is nothing but one is ground state and another one is exited state. Or one is lower state or one is higher state. It, the difference between the, these two energy levels is always indicated here. Delta E is equal to E2 minus E1. Suppose when an electron, when an, when an electron is always go for uh, moving from one area to the another area, it providing the energy gap. That energy gap is also go for uh, indicated here. Delta E is equal to E two minus E one. Similarly, the frequency observed. The frequency observed or emitted by a molecule, it is moving from one energy level to the another energy level in is directly proportional to its applied magnetic field. Then the compound can give the NMR spectra. That NMR spectra is always indicated here like this. This is an absorbance of the energy, this is an peak. This peak is always called as a spectrum. So, another important thing is nothing but resonance. What is meaning of resonance? When a molecule is placed in a system, it absorbs some energy, then it, is a, 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 then it goes to excited state. Similarly, after some time, that electron is always loses some energy and then it will become into the ground state. This kind of the process is always go for continuously. That kind of the stability, that kind of the oscillated system is to be called as a state of resonance. But uh, the state of the resonance is always the causes for the formation of a chemical shift. But what is meaning of a chemical shift? Chemical shift is the difference between the molecule frequency of absorbed proton and the standard compound nothing but TMS. What is meaning of a TMS? TMS is the common reference compound in NMR. That is by using of that common reference compound, you can estimate what kind of the chemical shift is always formed when the electron is always going from ground state to the excited state. 
that much of the chemical shift is always calculated is always identified by using of the following formula delta is equal to h not reference minus h not sample by h not reference here the reference compound is nothing but tmc tmc means tetra methyl saline tetra methyl saline it, it tetra methyl saline compound is nothing but it should be go for estimate the and then it should be go for estimate the how what kind of the chemical what kind of the chemical shift is formed comparing with that tetra methyl saline this is the brief about the chemical shift after that we can discuss about the shielding and then de shielding de shielding means and de shielding means when high electron density at around a nucleus shield the nucleus from the external magnetic field the net magnetic field felt by the nucleus in a molecule it will be go for lies that of external magnetic field and the nucleus is said to be is said to be sealed so that is a, that is nmr that nmr signal are formed at upwards and then the delta value is very low and it means the shielding compounds is always occur only at upwards and then the delta value of chemical shift is very low similarly what is meaning of de shielding de shielding means similarly when low density low electron density at around a nucleus decided to uh, decided to the nucleus from the external magnetic field the net magnetic field felt by the nucleus in a molecule will be more than that of applied applied magnetic field and the nucleus is to be decided and the nucleus is to be de shielded thus the nmr signal are formed at a lower level or down level with delta values delta value is very high it means when a proton or when an electron is always having the much more of the electron density it forms a chemical shift chemical shift at upward with a low delta value similarly when the electron having the less electron cloud it forms a peak at a ground state with high delta value so that's why what this is the main important thing what is shielding and then what is de shielding but what kind of the factors can be affect on chemical shift generally the chemical shift can be affected by the four uh, uh, four reasons one is the electron density another one is the electron activity of the neighboring group and another one is nothing but uh, anisotropic effect and uh, the last but one nothing but uh, hydrogen bonding so these four compounds are these four factors are causes for 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 causes for affecting of on chemical shift the chemical uh, affecting on chemical shift after that we can discuss about what what is the uh, what is the uh, spin of uh, splitting of uh, compound or what is the spin of uh, spin spin splitting of the compound generally the nmr spectrum of any compound at a low nuclear low resolution at a low resolution it forms a broad signal and but the same at a high resolution it is go for again splitting by interaction of a proton spin spin interaction the the further splitting of the compound is always uh, depend on the interaction between the protons and adjacent atoms 
But uh, these compounds is always go for these compositions is always go for uh, based on the n plus n rule. It means uh, the multiple of the signals can be calculated by using the n plus one rule. It means the number of protons are present in a nearby the molecule. That the peak will be given into n plus lines. Suppose uh, when we are taking the no hydrogen atoms in a molecule, it should be n is equal to zero. Then n zero plus one is equal to one. It means uh, when a compound having the having does not having no hydrogen atoms. At that case, it forms only one chemical shift, or it forms only one peak. Suppose the compound having the one hydrogen, it means one plus one is equal to two. It forms two peaks. Suppose the hydrogen, suppose the organic compound having the two two hydrogens, it forms three peaks. That is the triplet, and then. Uh, the last but one is nothing but uh, what what are the main applications of uh, nmr spectroscopy the main applications of nmr spectroscopy is first one a structural analysis what uh, by using of the nmr spectroscopy you can uh, explain the you can identify the you can characterization by the the structure of the organic compounds which is present in uh, The, the structure of the atoms which is present in a molecule so suppose you take uh, the number of nmr signals is equal to the number of protons in unknown compound and then uh, the functional groups is always go for identified by using of uh, 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 nmr spectroscopy uh, another important thing is uh, the chemical the chemical shift which is formed in nmr spectroscopy is always gives the number of hydrogen atoms present in a molecule so that is the main important thing which is which is identified which is analyzed by using of nmr spectroscopy the second one the second one application is nothing but hydrogen bond What kind of the hydrogen bonds is always present in uh, a given organic compound? It means uh, it has the two hydrogen or it has a, a three hydrogen. Besides, uh, this is the carbon atom. Or suppose it should not have the hydrogen atom. If the if the, if the organic compound having the hydrogen, what kind of the peaks is always found in NMR spectroscopy? Suppose the compound should not have the hydrogen hydrogens. What kind of the peaks is always found in uh, NMR spectroscopy? The nothing but uh, third one is nothing but uh, uh, elemental analysis. Elemental analysis means a uh, compound analyzing system. It means uh, it is used for the determination of uh, total concentration of uh, a given kind of uh, magnetic nucleus in a sample. It means uh, suppose when you are taking the sample. Based on the nature of the sample, it should be from uh, peaks. It means uh, what kind of the concentration of the compounds, what kind of the concentration of the protons is always present in a sample. Based on the nature of the concentration of the uh, atoms or uh, protons, uh, the peak will be uh, formed in upwards or uh, downwards. The another important thing, nothing but uh, uh, a study of uh, isotopes. So generally, a several nucleus in in addition to the uh, proton, which has uh, a magnetic momentum, can be studied by using of uh, NMR technique. It means uh, when a multiple compounds is always present in a given uh, uh, compound, you should be go for analyzing. What kind of the hydrogen is always formed in the compound? What are the structure of the atoms? What is the structure of the molecules? And then what? How many chemical shifts is always formed? And then what? How many NMR signals is always formed? What kind of the functional groups is always formed in that uh, given sample? The last but one is nothing but uh, keto enol tautomerism. So by using of NMR spectroscopy, you are go for uh, analyzing the. The keto enol tautomerism. It means the keto means the functional group keto. Enol means the functional group nothing but uh, 
and so this is the in all time in keto in all that time regime is always analyzing by using of nmr spectroscopy so friends this is the brief note on nmr spectroscopy so another important spectroscopy is explained day after tomorrow so thank you very much